So today we are going to make biryani and I'm not gonna lie, it's not the easiest recipe because it has loads of ingredients but if you love biryani, it is so worth it. So I'm gonna start with the rice, I've got some water boiling, I've added in some cumin seeds, cloves, salt and bay leaves and I bring that to a boil and then I add in my rice. Um, the thing here is that the rice needs to be 70% cooked, so like three, three quarters cooked, not 100%. So I don't really cook my rice covered. Um, I just leave it uncovered because I need to know when it's done so I can drain it. But while the rice is cooking, I started off with my chicken masala. Um, and the rice only takes like five to seven minutes to cook. So um, this is a good time to do it. So when the oil is really hot, I add in my onions and I'm going to brown my onions until they're a really dark color because I want my chicken masala to be like super dark brown. So that takes about 10 minutes. Um, and while the onions are cooking, the rice is done. So I just empty that out and I leave the rice to cool on the side. Um, going back to my onions, they're done now and I add in my chicken and I just make sure that the chicken is white on all sides so I cook it on every side and once that's done I kind of add in my garlic and ginger paste as well I just use one in a bottle it's super easy and then I move on to my whole or sabut garam masala which involves like loads of ingredients like peppercorns, cloves, cinnamon, black cardamom and it's really easy to find and it has loads of stuff I don't know how I have it, my mum gave it to me but yeah I just throw that in and I also put in some elechi or green cardamom and I also put in some alu bukhara which is dried prunes and I just give everything a really good mix so it's like it, the garam masala starts cooking then I add in my spices which are salt, um, turmeric, red chilli powder and garam masala powder as well and it's normally to taste but I tend to add in like two teaspoons and just like yeah give it a really good mix and the key is yogurt I love putting in yogurt in this chicken masala I know some people don't but I love it and even like two or three tablespoons makes all the difference and then comes the tomatoes I use canned tomatoes just because it's super easy and I hate cutting tomatoes so yeah anyways I I just do whatever's quickest and this is quickest and I just stir it like literally stirring is super important so everything is just really incorporated and the tomatoes need to cook so I add in some water mix it and then I just cover everything up and on like I put it on a high heat until it comes to a boil and then I turn the heat down um, while it's covered so it cooks for about 15 to 20 minutes and after that I just uncover it and your kitchen smells amazing like perfect it's the best and now I turn the heat really high so all the water evaporates and you can see the curry is like thickening up and it's it's quite thick now you don't want it to be too runny but not like very very thick either so you need to figure that out and then I just add in like a couple of green chilies I cut them on the side and then I add them in and then I just take it off the heat once it's kind of as thick as I like it and now the major key is basically layering um, layering your biryani is 
really essential because that's where you get the beautiful yellow color and everything so just so the rice doesn't stick on the bottom I add in a little bit of water and cumin seeds and then you start off with your rice so the base layer is always your rice cover the bottom of the pan and then kind of put some I just have like yellow food coloring which I mixed in with water and I just put some of that on top and then I added the chicken and that's basically the process it's like rice food color chicken and I also add in like lemon and some coriander um, as you can see in a second but that's basically what it looks like how you kind of layer it and then it's like rice chicken rice chicken and that's kind of what it does and then the next step is super important which is the dum so that's when you properly seal your pot you cover it with a tight lid so I just put a piece of cloth on my lid because it wasn't as tight um, and I used it to properly like cover it up and um, then you put it on high heat for about two three or four minutes like a couple of minutes and then you turn the heat down to the lowest setting possible and you leave it on a low setting for about 15 minutes and then after that you just turn the heat off and kind of leave your rice for five minutes so it's like another 20 ish minutes in total and then after that you just uncover and it smells amazing like the dum is essential because without it your biryani is like kind of sticky and it turns into mush really quickly whereas I personally think that the dum is what gives the rice like like it finishes the rice off so while I was explaining that you can see me kind of layering the biryani it does take a bit of time because I like mine to be super yellow so I tend to put quite a bit of blue color in it, in it. But, but you, you can, can see, see me covering, covering it now and then, and then I wouldn't say quick. But, but so, so worth it, it biryani. biryani. Super, Super worth it, biryani. <laughs> which, which is not that, that quick and not that, that easy. But, but I've only made it a couple of times, times and I already know. Like, like I, I know the recipe off by heart by now. So, so once you start, start it's really easy. And I hope you guys enjoy and like it.